need I say more? Wow, yeah, that, that past 365 days was surely something. Interestingly enough, this video was supposed to be published today, December 31st, and we can obviously see how that turned out. And with YouTube's HDR processing, y'all most likely ain't gonna see this until Sunday, so January 2nd. That being said, this year was a hot mess. There were definitely some great moments and a lot of really opportunities to be introspective with respect to kind of my channel, what I've seen in the community, what I've kind of just noticed going on, so on and so forth. Personally, me with my channel, this year has been a struggle to say the least. And really, I wasn't comfortable in a lot of situations to go out and create. Uh, I had to definitely take a step back from the majority of weddings. And I did have a wedding earlier this year. It was in September, not so earlier this year, but later this year, in September, in Florida. And that was when cases were kind of on the dip down low before we had that huge spike and now the spike that we're seeing. But it was for that reason, I really wasn't able to do a lot of creative work, which took a toll on me. I wasn't able to do any in-person photo shoots for the most part because I'm high risk, my family is high risk. And so that made it hard to navigate my business and actually just took a toll on my livelihood. On top of that, normally what I would do in this case is fall back on the fact that I can indeed create from home. But, and correct me if I'm wrong, maybe there's some other creators out here. Working from home, specifically during the pandemic when all of your family members are home, increasingly became harder. I'm from a loud family personally, so I am used to kind of working and navigating around the noise. But when you have a noise sensitive job like YouTube, that becomes increasingly hard within and of itself. But here's where it gets interesting. For my situation, everybody was home for the most part, right? Except for my mom. She's the one who went off and, I hear that? I hear that? There we go. There we go. The floors in this house are so thin and this is exactly what I'm talking about. I might have had to, I might have to like raise the volume up, but I can definitely hear it myself. That being said, in my situation, a lot of us were home to begin with. I worked from home, my grandma and my grandfather um, who are disabled, they've been home for the most part. And so my mom works for a hospital and they told her, don't expect to come in for the foreseeable future. That being said, in my situation, it still feels like the house got even louder than what it normally is. And so that presented a lot of unique opportunities when it came to creating. I didn't feel so uh, enthusiastic because I had so many noise restrictions I had to work around. And when I tell y'all, I've tried everything. The tea is exceptionally good today. I tried everything y'all could think of. Did I, did I wake up at 4 a.m.? Yes. Did I wake up at 5? Did I wake up at 3? Yes. And you wanna know something funny? How, how are you still awake <laughs> at these times of the hour? And I wanna make it clear that my purpose of this is not to create a rant even as I may continually pause so y'all can hear the noise. The purpose of this is just to say you're not alone, right? A lot of us had to adapt to different creative situations where perhaps we had schedules that worked before and for whatever reason, it doesn't matter who you are or your situation, your pandemic work life was simply just more challenging than it was before. And I definitely think that had an impact on creativity. But what I do like is that looking at the difference between 2020 and 2021, it no longer became just business as usual, right? We saw more people talking about the situations that they were in, there was far more transparency, and I feel like there was a level of realness that came with the creativity overall this year. And especially for me, one of the things that happened for me is the fact that I definitely found my voice more so, more about myself as a business owner, and more about my own brand and the kind of content that I want to put out to the world. A lot of times as creators, we don't think, right, that people want to hear what it is that we have to say or that we want to create. And to box yourself in like that creatively may work for a year or two, but it, in all honesty, it becomes career suicide, right? So what does this mean for my channel going forward? What can you guys expect coming from me in 2022? First and foremost, I can't put a definitive answer on that. So if you watch this video 
and see something different on my channel, that is because your boy will change his mind just like that. And if it no longer interests me, I'm not gonna do it, right? So most likely I will not feel the same in the middle of 2022 and at the end of 2022, but I do have some video ideas coming forward that I think you guys may like to know about. First and foremost, I wanna dive even more into tech than I said I wanted to last year, right? We did talk about a little bit of technology in the beginning of the year and then, you know, burnout kind of hit <laughs> mid 2021, right? But what I mean by that is talking about some of the things that were already popular on my channel, right? I have a new bedroom tour because this year has largely been filled with DIY, so expect that. I have a full YouTube studio tour because I'm pretty sure you've noticed constant little changes that have been happening, and also I've had some of the tech for quite a while. In addition to the other things that I just never reviewed on this channel, such as Philips Hue and all that other stuff, those things are coming, right? I am DPing a movie this coming up April, May, June-ish time, right, is our projected start time. COVID forgiving with everything going on right now that's still a little bit tentative, but there are some big names attached to that. So you'll also be getting the BTS behind that. I'm also going out and scouting for another movie that I'm most likely going to be the DP and colorist on. And also I'm colorist on the last movie too. That's gonna go on. So we will be going out to Montana. I can't say too much, but I wanna create some vlog content around that. So there's just a lot coming in on that lifestyle side, right? So I do wanna create lifestyle content. I want to do it when necessary and I'm not gonna promise it at any interval. The hardest part for me, y'all hear that bump? Y'all hear that bump? The hardest part for me is the schedule, right? Because I can't schedule this content in if it's just by the way that I feel. And that's how I plan on moving forward with 2022. It's creating what feels right, not boxing myself in to any type of schedule and whatnot, but just posting the content that feels right. I will have certain days that you will see content, but for the most part, expect tech, more aviation. Yes, that's coming. I have to do my flight review. I have a few aviation videos that I wanna get done. I have some light reviews out there that are still pending. So there's a lot of projects out there, but I would appreciate that if you are here for one thing, that you still support the other things because that helps me out as a creator. That being said, may the whiskey be ever in your favor. And I hope you guys like this video. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. If you have not, be sure to follow me on my social media. The links are in the description down below, as well as my YouTube fam, my friends who have been my creative group internationally since I started. Their links are also in the description down below. My beautiful people, now more than ever, if you are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on life, remember, Every day, airplanes take off against the wind. Keep climbing, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney Baker Green, and like I said, may the whiskey be ever in your favor. Peace out.